Hello, I'm the Civil Geek. Today I'm going to be talk talking to you about uh, concrete mix design. Okay, this is the book that I used for for studying this. Okay. This is the, book, the cover of the book. Okay, right. What happens is that we've got what is called in situ concrete mix. In situ, this is uh, the kind of concrete that you mix on site, and it is placed as a liquid uh, into the formwork so that it forms the desired member a bit a base a beam and or a column okay um concrete is um, this a mixture of cement uh, finer grades and coarser grades and water i'm sure you know about this one okay the most important part that i wanted to talk about is uh, uh this is covered in this british standard the bs this bs bs 53 28 okay there are two types of designs there's what is called a concrete um, there's a concrete design mix this one requires uh, for you to do testing then there's this one which is a prescribed uh, mix prescribed mix are those of which the purchaser specifies the mix proportions that will produce a concrete with the required performance there are two types of prescribed mix okay there's this one which is the ordered prescribed mix and they are specified in accordance with the requirements of this bs this British standard which we are going to use today the con the grade of concrete is uh, prescribed in table one of this uh, standard together with the other stuff okay this one does not require for you to do a test on its strength okay there's another one that you do by mass there's one that you do by volume okay let's move on now uh, on aggregates we are going to assume these these densities densities may change a bit except for except for the one for cement here this one does not change it's, a, it's actually standard okay this is for wet uh wet uh, river sand this one is for dry we are going to use this one and this one for the coarse aggregates okay the cement one will not change okay now this is uh the bs that we were talking about this bs uh, this is a standard mix okay if you do st1 this is the mix that you do you get a grade of 7.5 if you do the second one you get a grade of 10 the third one a grade of 15 the fourth one a grade of 20 and the fifth one you get a grade of 25 okay now this is the kind of cement that you'll be using if you want to get uh these grades here the grade uh, up to up to grade to grade 15 you can opt to use a ordinary portlet cement that will be manufactured using a bs12 okay then uh, this is just a matter of uh, picking out the cements the way that they were manufactured it has to be according to the relevant uh, british standard by so doing we ensure that the cement is not substandard okay now here let's say i want to i want to to do uh, concrete of a uh, of, of grade 10 here okay i'm going to use this st2 okay let's go here st2 is this one okay then this is the mass that you need for cement if you have a slump of uh, of 75 you can use a uh, cement 210 kgs per uh, uh, for mixing okay then if you have a slump of 120 you can use uh, you can use uh, two let's see you can use 230 kgs if you've got a uh, aggregates of this grade which is uh, the this is what we usually use in zimbabwe here which is 20 millimeter stones and you want to do a grade 15 concrete you have to use uh, for a slump of 75 you have to use 240 for a slump of um, 
120 125 millimeters you have to use a, a 260 anything more than 260 on your slump test will, will be regarded as collapse and that means that the concrete is substandard okay it just holds too much water okay so for us to start let's start here let's just work on this one okay, let me take a piece of paper so that we we can start the calculation okay here i'm going to use this one this one with the slump so if my design mix is a slump of one two five millimeter uh, slump okay what we need to do we will need a, a cement of 216 kgs okay then let's just go for fine then maybe the stones here okay okay so now uh, what we will need we will need a total total aggregates of 18 16 okay so if we have got 18 16 kgs of aggregates how many kgs of each do we need let's just see here okay as you can see from this table if you 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 have this kind of uh, mixes here they have these percentages here you need 30 35 percent of fine aggregates and 50 percent of coarse aggregates okay so 35 uh, if you add the two you have a 35 plus 15 you come up with the 85 okay so this is our denominator now we want to calculate the fine aggregates we say 85 multi 85 divided to 35 we say 35 divided by 85 then we multiply this with the mass which is 1816 okay let's just do that using a calculator like this i said it's 35 divided by 85 then we multiply this by 1816 okay what do we get we get 7 uh, 6 5,9 okay let's just write it here 7 6 5,9 okay then we do a bit of changing here we're just going to exchange the values bit a bit here delete this one and that one we come up with a 50 here okay then we get uh, here we get 10 9 4,1 kgs okay but this is by mass and most of you don't use a scale when you are doing your mixed designs. So what do you use? You use volume. Okay. Let's just let me move to another page so that then we'll come back to this one. Okay. If we use um we, we decide to use um volume, we know that rho, which is the density, is equal to mass over volume. So for the volume, it is equal to uh, the mass divided by uh, the density, which in this case, in the case of cement, it is equal to, okay, cement, uh, we have a mass here of 260 kgs. Then we have a density. Let me just check on the density. Just a second. Okay. The density of cement here is this one. This one is in tons, so you have to multiply it by 1000. So it's going to be it's going to be 1,44 multiplied by 1000. Okay. So we want to calculate the volume. Uh, the volume here. So let's just enter it into my calculator here. We've got 260 divided by 1,44. We multiply it by 1,000. Okay. Then we get an answer here. What is the answer? Okay. As you can see, it's 0, 0,18. Let's say 181 uh, cubic meters of cement. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. After cement, we've got, uh, uh, we've got the fine, fine aggregates. That is your scent, okay? 
which is equal to what is the mass? Let's go here the, to this one. We've got seven six five comma nine divided by what is going to be the 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 density? The density of sand, as I said, we are going to use the dry one, which is this one, one comma two one comma two eight. Okay, so it's going to be one comma two eight multiplied by a thousand. Which is going to give us the, the volume of our uh, percent. Let's go. Okay, we have a uh, seven and six five comma nine divided. By, sorry about that. Divided by one comma two eight multiplied by one thousand. Okay, so what do we get? We get zero comma five and nine eight. Okay, these are cubic meters. Then finally, we are going to get to the stones here, which is going to be the mass of the stones uh, from this table. You still remember, it's going to be 10, uh, 9, 4, 1. Then we divide it by the density. The density is this 1,600, okay, which is 1, 6 multiplied by 1,000, which is going to give me the volume. Okay, let me just. We just do this, okay? It's one zero nine four comma one divided by one comma six times one thousand equals. Okay, let me just do this. It's going to be zero comma six eight uh, six six eight four okay? cubic meters. Okay. Let me just enter this into this table. Here we have by volume. Now. The first number is 0, 0,181. The second one is 0, 0,598. The third one is 0, 0,684. Okay. Now, we want to create a ratio. Ratios. Okay. For us to create ratios, if you still remember, ratios first come with a 1, Let's say 136, something like that. So we have to divide this one by itself to come up with a 1. Let me just store it into my... Okay, let me just type it this way. The first number is 0, 0,181 uh, divided by the denominator. Let's use this one, 0, 0,181 equals... We are going to get a 1 here. Okay, now we are going to change uh, the top part. And we are going to replace it with the one for this one, which is 0, 0,5 delete 598. Okay, let me just change it. This one is going to change to a 3,3. 3. Okay, let's go to the to the next one. We are just going to, to replace the top numbers here with 0, 0,684. Then we are going to change it. This is going to be 3, 7, 8. Okay. Now, a bit of rounding off here will help so that it's easier for us to mix. And it will not change the, 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 the strength of the concrete. Okay. So, for us to round it off, let's round this off. The ratio is going to be 1. Then you round this one down. It becomes a 3. When you round this one up a four, so a ratio of one three four with a slump of this much will give us uh, the desired concrete mix. Okay, so now Geek is sponsored by Stone Cape. If you would like to do your printing, please contact us. The information is on your screen. Thank you.